this event in the female. Kirsty Balfour of Scotland. She's got Scotland. lane four. Kirsty Balfour. It's the first major final for Kirsty Christie. Ninth in Manchester, tenth in Athens, just finishing outside the finals, and now she finds herself the fastest qualifier up against an absolute superstar, Lisa Jones. Van Bilgen's in lane number five from the Republic of South Africa, eighth in Montreal. She's sixth in the 50 metre breaststroke here in Melbourne, so she has swum at night. Sally Foster didn't have a great heat this morning, had a very interesting dive. Lost the plot. It was very, very funny, actually. It does happen every now and then, but she just dropped her hand and almost shot straight to the bottom. She's in there at lane number six. Laudsha from South Africa. In lane seven. So Liesl's world record time, 2.20 and 5.4. Neatling, that's... Representing the, the younger sister of, of Rake Neatling. And he believes that she is going to do better in swimming than he has already done. It's a big plug. It is, because he has been fantastic. Mm. The 200 breaststroke final featuring Sally Foster, Brooke Hansen, and of course Liesl Jones. They're away. Four laps of the pool. The 200 breaststroke. And it is Neatling in lane eight, down at that bottom left-hand corner of screen. Laubscher above her, Foster in six of Australia, and then Van Bilgen in lane five, Balfour in lane four. Jones is going out much more quickly these days. She's in lane three, Hanson's over in lane two, and Jones leads her, and Bucken is up in lane one. So you can see it for yourself there on the wide shot that Liesl Jones is going to take them through at the end of the first 50 with a nice lead of 0.86 and she's 0.1 outside world time. Second placing was held by Balfa, third by Van Bilgen and then we go back looking for those behind them. Foster is running fifth at the moment. I liked it. The first 50 was very smooth. She's into that style that we saw six weeks ago where she just lay on her arms, used her efficient stroke and hung around the world record line. 0.1 at the first turn and this crowd's going to get started to get really involved during the third 50. She's got to get away a little bit further. She's going to be using the other girls as a yardstick. We're looking at a 220.54 and that's a long way in front of the rest of this field. So she's halfway and she's 0.25 under world time at the halfway mark. That is different to the plan that she adopted in Melbourne. She gave it a start and a beating. Tonight she's on top of it. That doesn't mean she's going to break the world record. She's Alpha second, Van Bilgen third, Hanson fourth. She's got to stay smooth. We've already seen her in the 50. We know that she can rate up really high. Maybe there's a change of tactic because she's so much faster in the 50 that we've already seen this meet. But, usually, but she was a little bit slower than she was in Melbourne six weeks ago. She's lying on her arms a bit more. There's a good turn. Now she's setting sail for home. Look at that. 0.08. She's still under it. She's got to stay smooth, but she's got to attack. Liesl Jones looking to break her own world record. A world record she broke in this pool not seven weeks ago. She's gone inside 25. Now she's got 50, 15 to go. The she's... line has got a beaten though. Jones dropping off the world record line. She has chased it and caught it though in the past, but not tonight. Simply brilliant. 2.22 outside the world record. Oh, she tightened up a little bit. With about 30 metres to swim, she put in a couple of choppy strokes. I think she might be having a, a little bit of an asthma attack at the end of the pool as well. She's sucking it in. She might have had the attack going just before she hit the wall. She's trying valiantly to get some air in. Brooks trying to console her, give her a big hug. Not right now. Here's the start. It was a good start by Liesl, one of the better ones. And then she hung around the world record line, world record line, it's a games record. Second fastest time, swum in history for the 200 metres breaststroke. She owns the first and now the second. And uh, maybe just copping a little bit of an asthma attack there with about 10 metres to swim because she wasn't a happy camper at the end of the pool there. She was dragging in a lot of breath as much as she could. But she tightened up and yeah, you're right, she actually raced after the uh, the world record line with five to go again. I thought it was getting right away from her, but she's starting to tag it down. She's moving all right. There's the first smile that we've seen.
That's good news. So she won the gold in the 50. She's now won.